So what am I making today? Well, this is an Italian loaf of bread that I've carved the middle out of. I've sliced the middle that I carved out into uh, fairly chunky slices. And then I've made a garlic butter with butter, garlic and parsley. And then in the middle, I have made a penne pasta with mushrooms, red onions and cheesy sauce. And in between I've put four layers of streaky bacon. So, uh, and then on the top I've put some cheddar and some grated parmesan cheese. So, let's get on and make it. Well, good morning and welcome again to my cooking channel. I'm very excited today because I'll be making something very special. Uh, basically, this is going to be a garlic bread, which I'll make from the center of this loaf. Uh, so the center of the loaf, in fact, will be empty. But inside, I'm going to put a penne pasta with beautiful grilled cheese on the top. So, let's get started. Um, this is going to be quite some recipe, so um, let's get into it. So what you can do here is just cut through the centre. Make sure your knife isn't going right through to the bottom. Because I want to take this piece out, but I want to take it out in slices. So that I can then make garlic bread out of the slices and then fill the middle up with my pasta. Alright, so there you go, I've hollowed it out and now I've got my pieces of bread over there that I'm going to make garlic bread from um, and then I'm going to make my pasta and pop it in the middle here and then surround it with the garlic bread. It's going to be epic. Right, the first thing I'm going to do in preparation is I'm going to take this beautiful streaky bacon which I'm pretty sure will shrink and I'm going to shove it in the oven and cook it and I'm going to make this layers of bacon in between the pasta inside the loaf so I'll put two two pieces of bacon between each layer and I'm either going to have four or three layers, I don't know but I'll <laughs> Now I can assure you the bacon will not go to waste. Um, I will find a place for it um, and it will be absolutely delicious. But this should give a nice one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This should give a nice flavour um, in the layer. Maybe we'll put an extra one for the top layer. There you have it. So I'm not going to start that yet. I'm going to, I'll put that in the oven um, towards the end uh, before I um, build the final pasta. But for now, you can just sit in the cold oven um, and just await uh, my next move. Right, so we're going to get on with the pasta here. I'm going to um, not put any garlic in the actual pasta itself because there's going to be garlic in the garlic bread and plenty of it. So we're just going to make a penne pasta here um, with a nice rich cheesy sauce um, with mushrooms. All right, and then of course we've got that we've got the layers of bacon in between. So let's get cracking. Right, so there I've got uh, my butter in there and I'm going to add to that my chopped up onions and when they are a little bit softer I will add um, my mushrooms then I'll add some flour and some milk 
and um, and then I'll add some cheese. And then to that cheesy mixture, I will add my cooked penne pasta. Um, but I'll pick it up once we've got the mushrooms in there and we start putting the flour in. Right, and there you have it. Mushrooms in. Uh, we'll come back when we're ready for the flour. Right, so here's our flour. That's, I think, uh, that's four level tablespoons of flour. Right, now I'm just going to put the milk in. Right, and there we have it. We've got half the grated cheese. Now is with the sauce. And we go over here. We can see that I've got the pasta cooking too. Right, better put the camera down. <laughs> Rightio, here is the, um, the garlic butter, which is about 100 grams of butter, four cloves of garlic chopped, and three tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley. So I'll now butter those pieces of bread. I took out the middle of the loaf. Uh, the oven's on, so the bacon is cooking. And I'm just about to add the cooked pasta to the sauce. So a lot going on. Be back soon. Right, I've added the sauce to the cooked pasta. I'm gonna I'm gonna put some um, parsley in there too. Mix it together, and then spoon it into the loaf. Right now, it's time for assembling. Oh, jeepers and creepers! So we've got our bacon here, and we're going to hopefully this won't stick. I'm going to pop that. There's my little layer at the bottom here. Then, we'll oh, have to get a bigger spoon than that. Then we're going to put a layer of pasta through. And there, like that. Ooh. This really is going to be yum. It's almost torture assembling this actually. There we go. Some more there. Let's turn the oven back up. Another layer of bacon. Ooh. Now there's not much room, so decision time. Do I leave out the bacon? All I can hear is deafening screams of no, so we're putting the bacon in. Yeah. And I know from talking to many of my people who watch my channel, I know exactly who the loudest screamers will be. Alrighty, -o. some more. It's the last of that. And one more finishing touch before we put this beautiful, beautiful, I'm just going to put a little bit of cheddar there, and some parmesan as well. And quite frankly, I don't mind if some of it gets on the garlic bread too. Right there. We're going to pop that in the oven. 
at 150 for probably only about 10 or 15 minutes. Boy oh boy. Beautiful. And there we are out of the oven. Quite beautiful really. And I can barely contain myself because all I want to do is pick it up and eat it now. I hope you do make this at home. You can uh, make this and pop it down in front of five or six of your friends and you won't hear from them for at least half an hour. Um, what you can do with this is actually cut it uh, like a roulade. Um, so get some serrated bread knife out and get tucked in. Oh, that is just beautiful. Hope you do enjoy this and I hope you do make it actually. And uh, let me know in the comments how it turns out.